I think with immersion suits, they've been quite, um, quite stagnant kind of in their development. They've been the same for a long time. But, right. And they're not really matching the capabilities of a lot of the exploration yachts, That's right? That's correct. It, now you need something better than what the immersion suits of the old days. It's the a minimum, grandfather st minimum standard. Suit. Yeah, this is the most advanced cold water protective suit on the market today. It far exceeds all regulations for immersion suits. Yeah. Yeah, it certifies with the U.S. Coast Guard, with Transport Canada and MED as an immersion suit. So you have a certificate for your boat. Yep. But it's much, much more because it's got more, <coughs> uh, more thermal protection, more than twice more thermal protection than the best other suits. Uh, the thermal, thermal protection of an Eskimo Ensemble is 4.0. This has a, a glow factor of 4.87, even higher than Eskimo Ensemble. It floats very good above the water, not in the water, which is good. To yeah, because potentially if you're in the water for a long time, you need something that, that you're comfortable in and that, sure. and that it, you don't and just survive. And the water that... detracts heat 24 times faster than the air. Yeah. So it's better to be in the air than the water. And also you can be seen from further away. Mm -hmm. But it's got more fire protection, so you can actually go through, further through the flames to get to safety. You can drop from a higher deck from 10 meters to the water without any effect on the suit or on, on the person. It's like an airbag. It works like a cork. And you've been dealing with a lot of the military kind of, they've been quite interested in, it, in some yeah, of the projects. Yeah, we did a show last week, uh, CANSEC and uh, Canadian Navy and the Coast Guard are both very interested in buying the suits. But the superyacht industry seems a little bit far behind in terms of their appreciation of, of just how extreme these conditions are. Yeah, and also to me, it's, to me it's obvious that the superyacht industry should be concerned about the family and their associates to try and save lives rather than just comply with the regulations. Sure. Well, I think maybe it's a time to bring in our, our, our volunteer. Okay. You know, it's not, the middle of, it's not the middle of winter, but it's still pretty cold here. Yes, yeah, the water's cold. And right I now. think if, if, if James is ready... Hello, I'm ready. We'll see just how, just how it goes on and how it looks in the water. Yes. So I'll defer to you here. And now, and now. Well, obviously, this is the very second time that he's put it on. With practice, you can put it on with, with one minute and be protected, completely protected from... Yeah, and I mean, thus far, this is pretty... I mean, it's larger, but it's fairly similar to the process of putting on a normal emergency suit, which yeah. all crew should, should know, like, the back of their hand. Very comfortable. You sit down like you're, you're seeing in a sleeping bag. You put on the, sli the, the shoes or the boots, yeah. like you're putting on socks. Well, where does the extra thermal protection come from? Like, normally, I, I'm used to neoprene emergency suits yeah. for thermal protection. Neoprene absorbs water over time, loses it buoyancy. <laughs> It's not very protective. This is totally different. This is uh, uh, like a bubble technology, which is very strong bubbles, which is uh, reflective on both sides. Uh huh. And that's right. So and dry and seal on the neck, dry seal on the face. That's right, completely dry. And then you put the arms in. Yeah, because that's my experience in, in immersion suits is they're, they're damp. They're not dry suits, this they're just damp suits. Totally dry. And then you want to close this. Like I said, once this is closed, it. So there's a full dry suit like you'd have on a dry suit. That's it. Once it's closed like this, you're fully protected from, from everything. So I'm used to normally, at this point in a drill, you would break the face seal and bend over to get rid of some of the air. Do you need to do that? You don't have to do that. In this case, air is your friend. Okay. Air is a good insulator for, for, from the cold. So you can do it if you want to, but you don't have no, to. No, but that's just something I'm used to from, from old drills. But if it's, you know... With the other suits, if you don't have, don't release the air, you can hang upside you can down hang, in the yeah, water. That's right, yeah. This doesn't happen. You can go in head first, you bounce back up. And here's your friend. There is your friend. Okay, and before, before James jumps in, you've also got the dome feature. So is that something we can open that up when you he's in the water? That up. You can take the arms out from within the suit, open up the suit from within to have access to your bare hands for eating, drinking, urinating, doing whatever you have to do. And then if you want to, you can take out the splash tent from behind the neck and the abdomen so you protect from the wind, rain, and waves. So you can sleep in this, so you can recoup your heat, your, your, your So if you're going to be strength. in there for 12, if you're in there for 12 hours, I think it's a, they say, a lot more. The subjects say that it's like being in a sleeping bag on top of a water bed. Well, you can Very tell us in a second, James. I think the moment of truth's come. <laughs> Would you like a push? You're not so cocky anymore. <laughs> I'm interested in how you're going to get back to the thing. Let me, let me inflate the pillow for you. Here. Okay. No, there's not a pillow. It's a pillow. Okay. Let's go. 
Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Moment of truth. Remember to turn over, just cross your legs, we'll be rolling over, and that's it. <laughs> you ready? Would you like a push? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. No, you're good? I'm good. Gonna go for a big jump, right? Yeah, big jump. <laughs> 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 you are on top. It's like you're in the Dead Sea. Oh, it's actually quite comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can someone give me a beer? <laughs> <laughs> so now, if he wants to open up the dome feature, if he wants to. If he wants to, he can do that. He's going to withdraw the hands. Can you pull your hands in? If, if it's not where to open the zipper from within. Bands. Like a magician. Feel right. <laughs> oh, wow. So now if you want to take out the splash stand, you have to you have to undo the there's two buckles on the sides here. Inside. Quick release. On each side. Yeah, honestly that normal one is incredibly uncomfortable when you float upside down and it fills with water. You have a flap, you just pull out the plastic, pull it out. It's going to come out from the admin on the sides, all the way behind the neck. There you go, keep going. There you go. That's right. Ah. Off to Glastonbury. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's it, you can control it, you're all set. You can control it, the opening, open it, less, less. You took off the hood the wrong way, but it's okay, it works. You can take off the hood this way. But well, we can leave. We'll see. We'll see James Thank later. You. It feels like for for us to be in the Pacific, that's the kind of vessel, uh, the kind of equipment that every yacht that operates anyway, here should that have. that's cold water, you need this kind of a suit because you know it also depends on the, on the proximity to safety. Yeah. To to the helicopter, to the boat, the coast guard. Obviously, if you're next to the coast. Yeah, you can survive a couple of hours with the other suits. But if you're farther away, you got a problem. Yeah. That's the point. It's that, that, that time to rescue. In the Arctic, rescue between eight hours and five days. A six-hour suit is inadequate. Completely. That's the point. Cool. All right. Thank you, Diego. Thank you very much. Cheers.